Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Civilization V. Um, Sid Meier's Civilization V, actually. Um, <laughs> we are about to... Uh, I've been itching to play this because we are about to get... Uh, well, we, as Maria Theresa, uh, Empress of the Holy Roman Empire of Austria, are about to get spears of our ass. Um, which, that's not the best way to get your daily iron intake. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick to Spanish, thank you. Um, it's either going to be by China or by the Mayans over here. Um, they haven't challenged us yet, but they've moved into our borders and I just now realize that. And we have we have open borders, so no need to panic just yet. We can we can wait a turn to panic. <laughs> uh, but uh we we we're, we're it definitely looks suspicious. Unless they're coming to help us out with uh, China. That'd be nice. Maybe we can coerce them into um, uh, into joining our war effort against China. And uh, who knows? Maybe they can take out um, Guangzhou. Hopefully. Maybe not. Um, let's talk to them. Nope, don't declare war. Let's discuss. Should we declare war against Wu Zetan? Ah, oh, please. What if I, I give you something? Uh, yeah, you declare war on Wu Zetan. What do you want for this? There's no way. Is that because you're going to declare war on me? Okay, well, I'm so glad we're friends. How about I give you three gold per turn um, just you know what? No, no, no. We'll just give you this. This is our our present. Yeah. So don't don't attack me, please. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a smart thing to do. I'm 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 not great at civilization at all. But uh, yeah, let's worry about China. Uh, it seems like we've already moved these fellas. Yeah. So, what to do? I guess put you in defense. Move you over there. And you're healed now, so you're going to be moving over there too. Wait, did they just attack me twice? Or did they attack me? We really need to take out those siege units. Those are the ones, um, you know, most dangerous to us. And because we just lost a unit, only our second unit, mind you, to China, um, we've taken out way more than we've lost. Uh, even though they tried to propose that uh, negotiation where completely one side, where we were giving them, I think, gold and marble, I forget. Um, gold and something that we have, uh, if I remember right, and that was just pff, that was bullshit. <laughs> no way we're giving them anything like that. Probably can't attack them. Nope. Can we move in? Though. No. Um, we need some more archers. Yeah, we'll move these archers into the city. And then just tell them to relax. You guys stay there. Here, actually, you guys protect our workers. Um, you know, our workers are very important to us. Though they're not actually doing anything right now. <laughs> we need a, a work boat, but we just, we're so focused on the war effort that we can't afford a work, a work boat. Who needs orders? Okay, these spearmen, you guys be defensive. Nope, not in bark mode. We don't you want, want you in the boat. We want you uh, defending. Okay. 
Ah, uh, we have to wait a turn to attack. Damn it. <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm still pretty, pretty nervous about this fight. Um, because I mean, hey, we're we're beating China. We're definitely gonna beat China. It's just, you know, how much are we gonna lose in the process, and how long can we trust them? Because, uh, you know, they're right there. <laughs> They're always going to be a threat. Let's attack with these guys first. Oh, they attack us back? I didn't know that. Yeah, we'll go ahead with this. Even if it means moving into their territory. I didn't realize... They were so good at attacking, I mean, they're not good, but they are uh, I didn't realize they would attack us back uh, if we attacked them. Um, I thought they would, they had to like set up for that and everything. Uh, because we're going to have a composite bowman in one turn, we're going to go ahead and move you guys up here. Bowmen are very useful right now. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Don't tell you to... Oh, I guess because the barbarian's right there. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll let the barbarian be, you know. But we're defending this area. Sorry. What's his name? Not Tikal. Uh, Pakal. Pakal. That's his name. Uh, people that like to smile the most. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We're unhappy. We're at war right now. How can you be happy when there's war? Not my fault. People are declaring war on us. Civil services. We get pikemen. Ooh. I think I like that. I'm sorry that we're not a happy place, <coughs> but we are a place that defends our people and our food and our lands. And um, kind of sounding like America right now. <laughs> uh, not very happy, but uh, well, I guess we are r relatively happy compared to people just um near a great general where's the great general i don't see any great general i guess i'm not privy to that information can i not attack them god damn okay you guys well if you come right here didn't reveal anything new to us We gotta take out these siege units. They're the biggest threat right now. Because they can actually take our city. Whereas uh, the pikemen and... Or not pikemen, the spearmen and the composite bowmen. They're just threats to our units. Um, yeah, I feel like Pakal is going to help me out. I do. Now, I'm, I'm having a better feeling about it than I did. <laughs> Which is good. I was nervous. Can you attack him? No. So why are you coming out of the alert stance? It's annoying. Yeah, same with you. Uh, now our production. Let's build a circus. Let's make our people happy. Uh, ooh, actually, let's do this. It's only four turns. Um, provides two happiness. Can not and there are citizens in the city. Okay, sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't understand how those two are correlated. Yep, he's dead. So that's only three units lost. We've still killed many more than we've um, uh, than we fought. China is probably demanding tribute from them. Huh. Did he die? That was weird, right? I'm still a little nervous about Pakal. We are buddies, right? I 
I go back and forth with the um, Pakal because <laughs> I mean, how can you how can you trust anyone in this game? The whole game is to take over the world. We're gonna keep you there. You're you're good defense. If anyone, uh, yeah. Well, I guess you're good defense there too, but um, better defense over here. Uh, ooh, it's kind of bad that we're not building any new units. So do I take these fellas and send them over there? Or do I go ahead and send them there? We're gonna we're gonna leave you there. Cause Oh wait, great general. Sorry, I didn't even notice you. What Ooh, we get gold whenever they're born, right? Is that something we already enacted? I don't remember. I'm not, I don't really know how to check yet. Um, but I think that's something we did. And you go on the defensive. You still need to get back home. Which I have a feeling we might get attacked going through... Oh, no, we have open borders, right? So you can go through their borders, right? Yeah, that should be good should keep us from uh, attacking or getting attacked. I decided to go ahead and move them. I don't know why. <laughs> I just kind of did it. Uh, apparently a bad decision. That's kind of cool. I never noticed that um, in the previous games I played where whoever got the Great Wall uh, actually had a great wall around their, their thing. Um, I never noticed. I feel like we have so much rough terrain in this area that I, I gotta go with this. Wait, where am I now? I'm on the Plains River. Yep, we'll go Accuracy too. Because, hey, why not? Okay, there's one. Can you attack? Nope, you can't. But you can. And you can. Okay. We've almost destroyed that. Ooh. Could they be using... I guess if they do, I can just block them here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and block them. I don't want them coming in there. Uh, in the last episode, I definitely talked about well defensible units. So, um, or well defensible lands. Uh, so, yeah. I, I, should, I should make sure I'm, um, I'm actually defending those parts of the land. We need... What do we need? How many turns until okay? So uh, we can't build pikemen yet, but we can build more spearmen. We need spearmen. Mm. Yeah. We need to continue to support the war efforts because okay. Ooh, they're actually giving us stuff. Okay. This is what I like. This is the kind of respect I needed to end the war. Thank you, Wu Zetian. Zetian. However you say it. I do not know, but we will gra gra graciously accept your, uh, your surrender. I guess it's not really a center, it's more of a, a peace treaty. But what are you doing with those settlers? You better not be trying to settle lands near me. Because there's this area, and you're not getting between my lands, or we will take it. And that's not a very like good place for a city. I mean, there's not much there. Maybe down here. Actually, that that could be good. I'm gonna do that. Thank you for giving me that idea, lady. Um, 
when I said that lady, my dog, uh, perked her head up because I guess she thought I was talking to her. I was not. <laughs> I was talking... Uh, I was talking to Wu Zetian, who I probably shouldn't just call a lady, but, you know, whatever. Okay, sorry, Pakal, I'm still blocking you. Um, please don't turn on me now. I just won that war. I'm considering that I win, even though I didn't really get anything other than gold. Um, I didn't get any cities. Uh, I... I that's all I really need, right? All you need is love and gold. Okay, let's move these guys into a more defensive position. Um, blocking Wu Zetian's warrior, uh, what's her faces? Um, settlers. What, what can you do right now? You can build a citadel. That might be good for right here, actually. Um, you guys are going to stay there. You're going to go right here. I'm all about defending my territories. I feel like Korea because um, I'm built around all these mountains. And uh, Korean cities, that's what they do. They're built around all of the mountains. Uh, not all of the mountains, but y you know what I mean. Like, if you ever look at Seoul, it just has tons and tons of mountains around it. And people go to, um, go up there to, well, uh, hike, mostly, but also, um, stressed out students who fail their exams, uh, go to, uh, you know, end it, sadly. Um, it's not a joke, that's, you know, that's a very sad thing for them. Um. You go there, that'll be a little quicker. You... Where are you meant to be going? I think you're meant to be going right here. And that means you're going right there. And you're... Building this. Uh, speaking of suicide rates, like I did, well, not, I wasn't really talking about the rates. Um, but I was talking about... Do we have anything here? Nope, we don't. Uh, I was talking about suicides in general in Korea. And um, in Korea has like the third highest in the world uh, reported. There's a lot of countries that I understandably don't uh, report theirs. Um, probably because they're miserable places to live, unfortunately. And um, uh, I was looking at it and like... Lithuania and Korea are tied for like second and third, or second or third, but then you have um, they're they're that like thirty people per hundred thousand, whereas um, Greenland number one is at like a hundred people per hundred thousand, which they only have like a uh, I think they only have fifty thousand people, so that's like fifty people uh, kill themselves each year, sadly, um, but it's. I mean, that's just, wow, that's a huge percentage. Um, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, that is a huge percentage for, you know, that kind of death. Um, I guess I don't really need to send you back home, so you can keep coming here. And we're friends with, well, we're not friends, but we're at peace with China now, so um, that's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, we need production. Uh, I have no idea how long this episode's gonna run because I got so excited to start, I forgot to, um. Yeah, I just. Oh, we built the Colosseum. Um. What else is gonna bring happiness? Because we need happiness right now. That's what we need. And we need food. Let's go happiness. We want happiness. We have ivory, that'll be one more. So that'll be at least two more happiness. We want happy people. Happy people are people who aren't going to start a rebellion or something. All you need is love. 
La la la. Okay, you're here, so you go on defense. I feel like that's a good place to have a, a citadel like that. Okay, you're blocking that now. That's that's fine. Um, pillage. No, why would I want to pillage that area? That seems odd. Okay, it it does look like um, Bacall was coming to help us out. That's, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Bacall. Uh, remember, we're all about the money, so we're gonna build another trading post. Um, you build. Oh, not you. You build a tent, uh, not a tent, <laughs> a camp, uh, which has tents, you guys just heal up, and you come in and attack the barbarians, oh Jesus, you guys have lasted long enough that you're probably about to die now, these were my first units I think that I sent out here, um, I don't, I don't, I, I think so. And I was expecting them to die pretty quickly. Uh, but they did not. They, in fact, lived. Dang it. I, he could have been a swordsman. Could have been a contender. But... I have... Who? These guys. Ah. You guys need to get back here. Um, but you guys... Oh, we need one iron. Gosh, we don't have any iron. That's bad. Is this iron? Yes, this is iron. Maybe. Um, okay, I don't... I have all these people who... Like, I need a scout uh, for a change. Like, I've never needed a scout before, but this would be the first time I've ever needed a scout. So five turns, he'll start to explore that area. Uh, after we get the circus built, and our people are a little happier. Why are they not happy? Um, okay, six for, uh, 17 generated by population. Okay, man. Our people are not happy. Why aren't you happy? <laughs> Too many people. Uh I only have six. Hmm. Normally, I can, I'm I'm pretty good at making people happy. Um, apparently not. Not 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 right now. Anyway. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. But whatever. 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 Okay, you're gonna have a lighthouse. That's gonna increase your food. Maybe food makes them happy. If I have a lot of people. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I should really research some of this stuff. So uh, next time I play, I don't get destroyed. <laughs> I'm still going to get destroyed. But I'll, I'll get less destroyed. Okay, Pakal is retreating. That's very nice. We gave him some gold. I think uh, it probably didn't actually help us that much. But... Um, you know, maybe it did. Maybe he took pity on us. Kill him. I'm going to go about another five minutes. I have no idea how long I've actually been going. So uh, I'm a little... I'm, I'm almost certain I'm going to be over. There was that one time where um, I did it and I was like right on the money. I was like 30, 31 or something like that. If, if I remember right. I might not be remembering right. Oh, I can do pikemen now. Shit, I didn't even think about that. Um, pikemen? Yes! Even better. Even better. You guys, turn around real quick. And we're gonna upgrade you. Okay. Now you guys get to come over here and fuck some cattle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't actually do that. That'd be, uh, you know. Okay, let's switch these guys with these guys. Okay, and the next turn we'll get them production. 
what's something that makes people happy or gets food? Um, culture, gold. Ooh, we like gold. We don't. Uh, we should. We should save Colossus for the other place. Um, lengthens. Ooh, that could be nice. Though our people aren't very happy, so we probably won't get that many golden ages. Um, not for a while. Uh, this would increase. Okay, plus two happiness. Sure. <laughs> settler. Let's do a settler. Your closest. Um, I mean, oh, you would only be three turns. Ah, damn it. I have, okay, well, that's fine. I can settle people up here. And I can... Um, oh, great merchant. Nice. Let, let's find this fella. And um, Eric Dandolo. I didn't look at the other guy's name. Oh, en Enrico. Why did I say Eric? Enrico Dandolo. Is that... Uh, no, that does not look Austrian, but um, that's fine. Let's move you right here just to see what you can do. Um, a customs house. Ooh, plus three gold. I like that. We're going to send him here, and uh, we're going to end the episode now. Because, um, well, it's been going for probably way too long. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.